So I'm having psychedelic experiences without taking psychedelics. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing to have these psychedelic experiences so that you don't need to go out and take psychedelics. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you should. It's debatable to whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna give you a simple method in this video how to have a psychedelic trip without taking psychedelics. <laughs> so you may have heard of an NDE called a near-death experience or even an OBE, an out-of-body experience. These things are effectively what our consciousness has an ability to do if pushed further enough. Further enough, far enough, far enough. I personally had an experience with ayahuasca in 2019 that was extremely, extremely traumatic. My body was coming out my mouth. I had vines going through me. I went completely insane. My experience wasn't the greatest. Some people, which I spoke to people that were at the retreat that I went to as well, they were having incredible experiences. Mine went from one extreme of the first ceremony being traumatic and awful to the second ceremony of not even tripping, not even purging, not seeing anything, not feeling a thing. I went from one extreme to another. And my immediate thing after the second one was very disheartening. And I was, that's it, I'm just not spiritual. I'm just not spiritual. And I was very disheartened with the results that I got from it. That's what I needed effectively. I needed sort of to be shown that there's no one quick fix in life. And we shouldn't expect a quick fix. We can have quick fixes and I totally agree with that because I've seen it, I've done it myself and I've seen it in many people I've worked with but we shouldn't expect quick fixes to save us in life. Because we live in a world where you can get a pill that can cure your pain, but it doesn't cure it, it masks the pain. It doesn't cure the issue. That's why I do what I do, because I want to cure the issue. And that's why I also wrote this book, Kintsugi for the Mind, so that you can have these psychedelic experiences without needing psychedelics. So how do you do it? What happens? First one, I'm gonna dive into what happens, and then I'll explain exactly how to do it. So rather than tripping for four hours with ayahuasca and, and purging and throwing up and going to the toilet, that's, that's how ayahuasca works if you're not familiar with it, I have allowed myself to reduce that whole experience and in 30 minutes, under 30 minutes, you can have that trippy experience. To things where I've seen geometric shapes, I've seen beings come to, come to me and, and effectively what's happening is it's like my consciousness is turning off but my body is still on because I'm still sitting upright as this experience is happening around me. And then eventually I come back round and it is just like everything around me is just beautiful. The world is beautiful. The world is vibrant. This is something that I need to share with people. I'm going to keep updating you and making more videos on this because we have the ability to do this without needing anything external. Now, as I said, depending on your beliefs, if you like plant medicine, take plant medicine. That's down to you. I had a really bad experience with it, and that doesn't mean that I'll never do it again. Right now, I'm not going to, but in the future, I probably will, if I'm honest, I probably will. But this is something that we can do to really step outside of ourself and then come back as a new self. And the way that I say I come back and it's like I've got an upgrade to my brain, that's the only way I can explain it. And this is just gonna develop as I develop this as well. And it is actually in the book, Kintsugi for the Mind, it is the method that I use. But the good thing is you don't have to have this psychedelic experience if you don't want to. It's just dependent on the last little bit that you do through the whole experience, which gives you that out of consciousness experience. So as I said, what's happened before is I've seen geometric shapes. Things have made so much sense in my mind and my perspective has completely shifted. I've literally stepped out. It's like I've stepped out of my body, but not an, an out of body experience where I'm seeing my body. It's like I've just stepped outside and then I've come back in. And it's literally is like I've closed my eyes, sort of walked out the room and then come back in the room as a whole new self. That's the only way I can explain it. And the way that I do this is in the Kintsugi for the Mind method. And it's down to your breath, the type of breath work that you do. And there's a breathing technique at the start. If you want to understand the whole method, click this video up here. Um, and it will take you through step by step what you need to do because there, there is then a guided process as well. But effectively what happens is you do a specific breath at the start, two rounds of that. Then you move into the relaxation phase of it, um, grounding your energy, receiving that grounding energy. 
Then you move into the opening up and expanding your consciousness to a whole new possibility. Then you move into the emotion of feeling deeply, deeply grateful, love, compassion, really high vibrational energies. And then once you've done that, you move to the final breath, which really takes you and steps you out. As I said in that video that you should click on, it will be at the end of this video as well, if you haven't already clicked it and opened it on a new tab. But once you understand the process and exactly what you need to do, and you must understand the process first, don't just dive into the guided bit because that's the breath that you need to do is very important. And I'm not gonna explain it here because I've already explained it in the other video. But when you allow yourself to do this, every single time without fail that I've done this, and I've done this many times, I always get the same result. I do this every morning, every evening. I think, no, yesterday I did it once. I, I just did a normal meditation in the morning. But every time I get the same result, and for something to be scientific, it must be repeatable. Now, I really, I really want to do a study on this. I would love to know what truly happens in the mind when this experience is happening in me. And I also want to share this with people because of how much more compassion and love I come back round with. And it's like I've just been injected with compassion and love and it's just there to stay. And I don't need an outside injection to feel this. I'm causing this internally. And when I cause this internally, my external world changes as well. I feel more productive, I do more, I feel better, I have more energy. All these things happen as a result of doing the Kintsugi for the Mind process and method. So if you haven't already, make sure you head over to my website, www.maxindle.com forward slash KFTM, Kintsugi for the Mind, and go and check out the guided process, but also go and grab a copy of my new book, Kintsugi for the Mind. Manifest your perfect life despite your painful past. No matter what you've been through, you can change. And grab yourself a copy and please, please, please let me know exactly what's happening, your experience with this method and understandings from this book because I've made it short, I've made it simple. I wanna to get to the point. I don't wanna give you all the BS and, and go long-winded with it. We live in a world where we want stuff instantly. And what has taken me up to an hour and a half hour before to get to this outcome now takes me only half an hour and I'm giving you that process for totally free. If you wanna grab the book as a donation as well, then please do that. But also the information in here is going to change your life, I guarantee you that, and make 2022 your best year yet. But other than that, subscribe.